Hello everyone, this is Religious Fanboy here again, and welcome to the first episode of the Church Hunt Prep Podcast. And today, our theological topic is what is the definition of worship, and the ministry being spotlighted in this episode is the Religious Fanboy slash Anime Devotions Ministry. And the way I've chosen to start our conversation with the definition of worship is actually through the Religious Fanboy and Anime Devotions official mission statement. The official mission statement for the Religious Fanboy Ministry and Anime Devotions Ministry is that Anime Devotions is a reminder that whatever we do with with a desire to hear from and honor God is an act of worship. We can hear God speak through just about anything when we seek Him. Through watching and discussing Christian lessons and themes and anime together, we are able to help each other grow closer in our relationships with God and each other. And by watching anime together and using discernment, we will be able to better navigate the slippery slope that anime can present. And this mission statement is informed by a lot of my testimony of of how God has changed my life in my relationship with him as well as my relationship with anime and the other forms of media that I take in. Starting out, a lot of growth in my relationship with God as well as my interest in anime. Despite these things being prevalent in the earlier years of my life, they neither one of them came to a head until about my junior year of high school and it is and it was through the at first unrelated growing interest in both being more devout in sharing my faith as well as prioritizing my relationship with God as well as a growing fascination with anime that through a process of having anime in and out of my life that my interest in anime as well as other media that I was already taking in, such as comic books and professional wrestling, would begin to get to the point where they are now, where the interest and my enjoyment of those things are now inseparable from my relationship with God and specifically the ways that I worship and honor God in my everyday life. And we are told in in my life, one of the f- things that I wrestled with and found confusing was the idea of being in a state of constantly worshiping God and giving God every minute of every hour of every day of our lives. But as I've grown older and not only through my relationship with anime, as well as manga, comic books, and professional wrestling, have I seen through a changing of my definition and a broadening of my definition of worship that I can say I truly have at least a good foundation of a good understanding of what that means to give God every minute of every hour of every day and worship him without ceasing and even though i am not perfect and we are not perfect we and we will make mistakes at times i can trust in my knowledge of what worshiping god now looks like to me and this does not only affect my hobbies but has gotten me through the roller coaster I've experienced of job searching and my experience of walking with Christ through my interests and hobbies, both over the previous interests in regards to the media I take in, as well as the making of artwork and participating in sports and working out at the gym. And to sum up, if there's only one thing that you take away from this topic about worship is that worship is defined or can be defined by anything that we do out of desire to honor and listen to what God has to say to us. We are told in scripture that we find what we seek and for those who knock on the door, the door will be open. And God does not only want 
the masks that we sometimes wear and the perceptions we feel we have that make us feel like we have to have it all together in the church service. Because God does not only love us for those two hours a week. And God does not love only the idealized version that we portray when we feel like we have things to prove. Because God knows every part of us. And God loves and desires to have relationship with us. And by saying we are called to worship God with every minute of every hour of every day that we live on the earth just means like anyone who desires a close relationship with another person they want to be able to live your life and live their life alongside you and it is only when we are able to do that with our hobbies and our work that we are able to live life of endless worshiping of God and truly be in step with God's plan for our lives. And I'm going to do for this first episode something that we will do about every five to six episodes where we will go through a list of anime recommendations. And as more episodes like this, Come up, we will be recommending a variety of older and current anime. Right now, I have one current anime that I would like to recommend. I've recently been watching of the current season of anime. The anime titled The Wrong Way to Use Healing Magic. Of the winter 2024 lineup of anime releases, this has by far been my favorite show. And I really enjoy the Christian lessons and themes and ideas of that are paralleled that pertain to holding things loosely and being over accepting of the changes that God allows and uses in our lives to help us to grow in healthy ways that we probably would not have expected and maybe would not have put ourselves through if have not been in some ways forced or guided on those paths. It reminds me of one of my favorite quotes I heard in one of my theology classes where he's where one of my teachers said that God will mess up your lives in some of the most wonderful ways. Much like when working out at a gym in pursuit of growing stronger muscles, our spiritual muscles are often like physical muscles where it is only after they have been torn that they are able to grow big and stronger after healing. And after, for the last couple of minutes, I'm going to go through six more anime recommendations. The first one on my list is Token Ranbu Hanumaro Season 1. The rating for this anime is TVPG. The only disclaimer is there is some blood in a few dream sequences throughout the show. And the main Christian lesson and theme that is paralleled in it is trusting in God's plan regardless of circumstances. And our third recommendation is the Studio Ghibli movie Spirited Away, which is rated PG, and the main Christian lesson and theme that is paralleled in it is that God puts people in our lives to help us to grow and is capable of and desires to take the negative circumstances in life that the world throws at us and cause and make room for good to come of them that helps us to grow as people and grow to be more like God. Number four is the Studio Ghibli movie My Neighbor Totoro, which is rated G. And the main Christian lesson and theme that's paralleled in it is God calls us to comfort those in need. And we will move on to our next recommendation, which is actually our next two recommendations are two other Studio Ghibli movies. The next one on the list is Howl's Moving Castle, which is also rated PG. And the main Christian lesson and theme that is paralleled in that movie is that God 
still has our best intentions at heart even when his plans differ from our plans. And this listening theme is also carried over to the next Studio Ghibli film and the last Studio Ghibli film that will be recommended in this episode, The Wind Rises, which is rated PG-13. And the additional lesson to the one it sh- that is paralleled and shared with Howl's Moving Castle is not neglecting to do the right thing, regardless of what worldly consequences might come with it. And then the last anime recommendation that I have for today is one of my favorite sports animes, which is called The Salaryman's Club. I couldn't find a rating on Crunchyroll site or IMDb's, but the main Christian lesson and theme that I saw paralleled in the show is God's plan does not always make sense to us, but we can have peace in knowing that God wants what is best for us and wants what is necessary for us to grow in our relationship with God and with those around us. And with that being said, that is the end of this episode. I hope and pray that you took away from this episode whatever God intended for you to take away from it. And I hope that you know that you are loved by your fellow brothers and sisters in Christ and that if you are currently looking for a church home or trying to discern what is the thing that God is calling you to next or if you know or have an idea of what God is calling you to next but still working on building up the courage to say yes to take that next step I want you to know that you are you will be prayed for and that you are loved by those around you and by God and that God has not and will never abandon you and nothing that you say do or think will ever affect how much God loves you. And with that being said, may God be with you and see you next time. Bye.